was surrounded by a troop of olive baboons and we had the most sweetest sighting I've ever seen. I found my spirit animal, well, not anymore, just when the adult, the one at the back that is being groomed by another baboon, it was sleeping with its head in the sort of dip of the termite mound with its eyelids closed, enjoying the morning sun, enjoying being pampered. It was hysterical. Actually, it looks like going to sleep again. Look, just, well, head on the shoulder this time round. That is so funny. So even the baboons find it hard, <laughs> hard to resist the lovely morning warmth from the sun. So every now and then when you saw the white, that's the that's the eyelids there. So that's how you can tell when the eyes are closed is when you see that sort of flash of white. Look at that. Just absolutely loving every minute of this. And it's so important that baboons and, and animals that are social with one another constantly groom each other. It helps with strengthening the bond, of course. And then, well, the one that's doing the grooming is probably getting little snacks here and there, eating the ticks and any other parasites that may be in the coat of that baboon. But that is so precious. Oh, that's a big male. Oh, you got a photo bomb there, David. He just walked across your frame. How rude. Do you not know that we're filming a live show here? Isn't he beautiful? No, he's probably charged over just to check the area, make sure that there's no other baboons, other um, olive baboons trying to come into his troop, although there'll be more than one big male around here. But he is enormous, with a very fluffy coat. Hello, big boy. And he looks particularly well-groomed, don't you think? Nice shine to it. He looks very, very healthy. Though all the animals out here, well, most of the time, look quite healthy. And very relaxed with us too, which is quite nice. There's actually an abundance of animals around here. Very, very impressive. Right. We're just going to get a car driving around us. Oh, no, never mind. He's going to zip around the other way. Thank you. That was very... <laughs> Do you know what impresses me most, I have to tell you, is how all these cars navigate. They're not even in 4x4s like we do. That was a minivan type thing, I suppose. We would call them a taxi in South Africa. And it just up and off went off the road and right past us. I'm incredible. Probably has got an adaptation and has got 4x4, but uh, nowhere near the clearance that we have, sort of. Let's carry on. Let's see. There's a couple of teeny tiny baboons. We'll try and see if we can find a really little one. Hello. One day, David, one day it will wave back. I think these animals are so intelligent. Probably not, but I like to think so. There's some little ones also just sitting up on the little termite mound. Everybody's very relaxed this morning. I don't know if it was a big night for the baboons. Not much noise going on over here. Not running around, not racing away from us either. That's a very, it's a lovely scene, isn't it? So basically we've got to head back in the direction of those hills that you can see. We'll eventually head around there and head back to that massive escarpment where our camp is. It's a fairly big troop of baboon. There must be, I don't know, probably including the young ones, that's about 30. Now, David from Napa, you're wondering who's bigger, an olive baboon or a, a chakma baboon? I would say the chakma baboon. I haven't actually had a look at the weights, to be honest, so I could be mistaken here. Um, but just by looking at them, I think our baboons get much larger. Uh, maybe they make up in weight with all the hair that they have covering their bodies. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Standing very obliging, getting those hard-to-reach places. <laughs> This has been an absolutely fantastic morning. And, and honestly, just like you could spend hours and hours with elephants, you can do the same thing with baboons. They are so entertaining from them being very playful and chasing one another around or just watching uh, the grooming habits of the baboons or learning about the social structure uh, within a particular troop. Isn't that so cool? little one probably doesn't want to be groomed. It knows that it has to be. Otherwise, you're going to get all sorts of nasty things. Oh, you're going, wait, there's one. <laughs> I'm just going to do a headstand to try and get away from you. And then mom going, I'm just going to bite it off with my teeth then. Oh, this is lovely. What a fantastic little family. Here we go. And now they probably will play. Very playful animals. They like to wrestle. <laughs> That kind of looks like some of the boys in camp when they get 
a bit rowdy and the testosterone levels are high and uh, sort of sort of play fight I suppose. Oh.